figure your way out of this? Uh, I think everybody just got to take accountability in their job. Simple as that. Uh, we lose as a team, not, not one person. You seem like you finally got into a rhythm as well. Now that you know, you get a little more touches, he starts looking your way more. That you get back into the flow. What was working there? Do you think? Uh, I think you know. Obviously, you got Calvin, you got Tyler. Uh, you know, those guys are are great players. You know, so Will just finding the open spot. I don't think he tried forcing uh, me the ball. So just you know, him just playing playing his game. Yeah. All right. Did it feel good to be a contributor again out there? Like you know, you can be. Uh, I'm always a contributor. If I get zero balls, a uh, uh, 20. Sure. Okay. How, how, how frustrating, though, is it, though, with some of the offensive struggles you guys have had for three weeks? Oh, man. 0-3 is obviously, you know, not good, but it's a long season, man. I don't think anybody in this locker room is giving up. So, uh, shit, next game. Does this feel like an 0-3 team? I feel... Like we lost today, so uh, we just got to go back and you know go to the chalking board, man. You know, just try to get a win, put it together. As, as a veteran, how do you kind of keep morale up after the start that you guys have had? Uh, man, a lot of teams have started 0 and 3, 0 and 4. Obviously, it's hard to fight your way back into it, uh, you know. But we haven't played a lot of division games, if any. So, I think I think uh, you know. Let's let's wait till January to ask that question. As a veteran player, how do you keep the other guys on the offense from getting frustrated? You know, with the three and outs, the sacks, the turnovers, all that. You know, man, as a veteran, I I just kind of you know learn to sometimes sit back and allow people to self evaluate themselves. You don't want to go out there and make anyone feel bad about you know playing bad because. It could be me one day. It could be someone else. It could be, you know, it's 11, 11 people on the field as offense. So you just kind of sit back and, you know, let coaches coach. Uh, you know, I think everyone you know, knows that they could do better. Obviously, we're over three. I could do better. Uh, you know, I think everybody can do better. You know, it's, it's a team loss. I mean, it's disappointing. Like, I'm, I want to take personal accountability for myself um, and for the O-line. Um, just not good enough. And... I'm just, it's just, it's hard, you know, to play like that, to not be at your best. And it's something that I got to figure out, that I got to play better and I got to do for me to bring the, elevate the team and make the team better. Because it's, as a team, as the whole line, it's all five of us, but each one of us has a responsibility that we need to do for us to prepare, for us to be at our best when it comes to Sundays, whatever game, whatever day we play. And I feel like I wasn't there. That last one, that uh, you uh, looked like you lost your footing maybe a little bit. Can you kind of tell us what happened on that? On the back that led to the That's what happened. Bad technique, lost my footing, crossed over. I mean, we washed it on the sideline, and then it was just like, look, we're not playing at our best. We're not playing good enough football. So um, it is what it is. It's something that I have to improve on. I have to watch the film and get better at. Um, I'm not at my best right now, and I need to find out why that is and become a better football player and be, and be good again, you know, so – yeah. How do you approach that? Is that after that play is when they put Jalen in and kind of give you give you a spell there? How do you approach this week to try to get better? It's it's a lot. I mean, this is I can be honest with you guys. This is the first time I've I've been in this position in my career really, um, where I'm not at my best and I'm not playing well enough, and it's to the point to where I needed a spell like that. Like, I really haven't had anything like that since like college when I had a lot of. Um, mental stuff going on that I had to take a spell, but I was right back in the game. So, um, you know, I just don't want to be back at that moment when I was in college where it was hard a lot mentally um, for me to get out of that hole and get out of my head. Luckily, I had teammates behind me that I really trusted and I believed in, and I feel like I have the same people here, and they're going to raise me up and they're going to build me, but it comes from me. It comes from my will. It comes from my heart power. It comes from the toughness that I have and that I believe in myself. So that's something that I have to look into myself, and whatever it takes for me to do that, uh, I'm going to find that. Uh, yeah, it's probably the worst uh, worst feeling you can have in this uh, in this business and as an offensive lineman. Um, so, yeah, absolutely unacceptable. Um, we have to be way better than that. It's nothing else to it. So Obviously, getting the running game going would have helped today. Why do you think it was you guys struggled in the run game today? Um, I think when we just get behind that fast and then those few run plays that we do start out with, uh, we don't uh, get them to hit. Uh, and then you're playing catch up the whole game and then you have to pass the ball. So, uh, like I said, there's, there's spurts there. Um, we showed a, a lot on offense, I think. 
Um, but obviously, majority of the game, we, we got to be better. So. Um, uh, eliminate all, uh, any and all schematic uh, sacks as far as uh, any mentals. And then uh, as far as physically, just uh, the three practices we do have. And then before and after practice, just working on the technique um, to make sure we're not giving those sacks up. Um, uh, all those preventable sacks, uh, we got to be able to uh, pr obviously prevent them. Um, so doing all that in this week's time is going to be huge, uh, especially preparing for a Monday night game. Uh, and yeah, we uh, we gotta go out there and we we gotta show this we gotta show this team that we can protect well. So yeah. extra day heading into the Monday night game would that be beneficial at all? I'm sorry. What the extra day yeah. that you have for the Monday night for the Monday night game? Yeah. Is that benefit you guys at all? Uh, I think it's gonna be a huge benefit, especially from where we're at right now. Yeah, um, it was extremely tough. Um, obviously, uh, they got into a rhythm early. Um, you know, we weren't where we need to be, um, and so. Yeah, we need to be better. Did you do anything you guys weren't like expecting on film this week or anything like that? Uh, not really. Um, I think you know early on, you know, the Q runs um, were definitely a factor. You know, he had a scramble and then uh, he pulled he pulled it on his own read. Um, you know, I feel like we were playing well. You know, inside the tackle box. Um, you know, keep keeping the runs limited. Um, but I, I feel like early on, you know, it was it was those two that kind of kind of got us a little bit. Um, and then we're just playing catch-up ball after that. How tough is it when you when you have a quarterback seemingly dead to rights on a third and long, and he's able to break a couple tackles and run and pick up a first down? Man, it's extremely tough, man. Um, and I think you know, you know, we just got to be better. Um, you know, you know, me personally, you know, you know, I need to be better. Everybody on this defense needs to be better. Um, today wasn't our standard, um, and so um, whatever it takes, we we'll have to figure out how to be better. Throughout the first couple of weeks. This game, you gave up I think, six plays of more than 20 plus yards as a defense. I imagine you take that person off. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is not our standard. Um, and so we got to figure it out. Um, and so we can't be, you know, a defense that, you know, a couple weeks were good and then, you know, we, we give up six explosive plays. That's just not us. So we need to figure it out. Um, and so um, try to go back to the drawing board. I mean, it sucks. I mean, the reality is the reality. You know, we're 0-3 right now, and so um, we just got to scratch, claw, bite, whatever we need to do to get a win um, so we can get this thing rolling. So um, that's the mentality right now. Would it be maybe beneficial to have the extra day next week before the Monday night game? Like you said, you know, an extra day of work or, or whatever? Well, I mean, obviously, you know, you can't really control when we play. You know, so obviously we play, we play on Monday. So. Um, yeah, we're going to take all the time we can to get this thing right um, and come back out and play better.